to check your eyes often is important. Now let's look at uh, another uh, very common cause of uh, blindness, cataracts. Okay, yes, cataracts is the second, according to WHO, is the second uh, leading cause of, of reversible Reversible blindness. now. Yes, because as uh, when uh, we started, I made mention of uh, having reversible and irreversible, irreversible. blindness. Yes, cataracts, when it causes a blindness, um, one, it can be reversed okay. when one undergoes a surgery. And it's only surgery that can reverse uh, the uh, yes, cataract. If anybody's telling you uh, that you should uh, use this, you should use this concussion, you should use this uh, whatever, <laughs> herbal medicine, yes. that to remove the cataract, it's not true. It's only surgery, true surgery, that you can reverse the vision. Because there's really something that has happened in the eye. Okay. Something ha has uh, affected the crystalline lens, the okay. lens that God created in our eye okay. has been affected. It needs to be removed and uh, replaced. Okay. So cataract causes uh, blindness, but it's reversible. That is if there is no other thing happening, that is what we call cofactor, that is happening inside again the in the inside the eye. But if it's just only cataract, if the person goes for surgery, it can be reversed. That's fantastic. And children too, is it possible to be born with cataract? Yes. We have a the uh, type of cataract because even in the cataract we have many types of cataracts. Okay. We have a congenital cataract depending on because what really causes uh, the cataract, the composition of the lens mm. when it's being compromised is made up of many proteins. Okay. When it's being compromised, compromised, that is when cataract there will be formation of the cataract. There is no balance in the chemical composition. That is really what causes the cataract. Mm. So a child can be born with cataracts. Mm. So we call that type congenital cataracts. Cataract. Mm. So what could cause congenital cataracts? Is, is, it, is it what the mother is uh, not doing right many, or what the mother yes, is overdoing? Yes, it can contribute. It can contribute. It just has a, rever as a result of um, um, developmental as the child is developing, the whole system is develop, developing. There are many things that can cause it. There are some mothers that when they're pregnant, they are on alcohol, they smoke, all these things, they have effects on the, the upborn baby, yes. which can affect the child. Mm -hmm. So there are many things that can cause it. Okay, that's interesting. Now let's look at the use of glasses. People see the use of glasses as a stigma. Okay. You know? Yes. If somebody, I was in the hospital one day and uh, I, had, uh, I overheard a conversation between a doctor and so on. The woman said, God forbid, it's not in our family. I cannot use glasses, you know, that kind of a thing. Why do people see using of glasses as, as, as a stigma? Uh, you know, in this part of our world, this part of our world, the people just see everything. Everything, we see most things as a stigma. I, I'm not just normal, I'm not just uh, the way God created me. I know even sometimes we do help God. We say, ah, no, this is not the way God made me to be. Mm. Uh, why should I now wear glasses? Mm. But it's not that when one is using glasses that um, it's like uh, the person is blind. It's even good to help the person's vision. Okay. So one, uh, because yes, I've been in uh, places, I've even seen, many a times I've seen that, they say, this child is too, uh, Young, yes. Glasses. Ah, no. There are children People of just one year, two, three. I'm using glasses. No, the one is using glasses should not uh, like uh, uh, be of anything that uh, this person is using glasses that uh, it cannot see because the leading cause of uh, reversible blindness, which we say is refractive error, can only be managed with their glasses. Okay. We have many things that can make one to wear glasses. Mm -hmm. um, there are um, something we call um, myopia, short sight. Mm -hmm. It's just that the light that's entering the eye is not going to the, the way it's supposed to be. Okay. So with glasses, the child or whoever the person is, we see like every other person. And wearing glasses does not really make the person uh, inferior, more inferior than others. Okay. It will aid the person and make the person to function properly, the way the person should function. Mm. And again, we find out that even those that don't have eye problem, as you're approaching 40 years, there are some changes, physiological changes. The lens in the eye will start losing its accommodation. Is, is it for everybody or just few persons? It's because there are some persons at 80, at 90, they read without glasses. Okay, and um, those people that are reading without glasses, 
for me, I don't really know what um, is happening. But it's only like when I examine the person, I will know, okay, what uh, is happening mm. to the person, why the person does not really need glasses, glasses to read. But naturally, when somebody is 80 years and above, mm. um, I mean, 40, 40 years and, and above, above, sorry, when somebody is 40 years and, 40 years and above, we expect that the, there are changes, physiological changes in the eye that will not make the person uh, not to be able to read tiny prints. Okay. And the person at that uh, stage, the person may require glasses. Okay. When the person must have gone for eye examination, okay. the person may require glasses. So with the glasses, we help the person to function normally, function the way it should function. Okay. Like if it's somebody that is uh, works in a bank now, that the person needs to see every details of every figure. Of course. Uh -huh. The person needs the glasses to function maximally. But if it's like somebody that is like in the market selling, counting a harmony or the his person money, not, the it, person may not really need, need glasses. It. Okay. No, the person may not really see the need. Okay. But that does not mean that the person will be able to read those tiny prints. But the person may not really see the need. And there's something that will push the person because the person, the person's occupation does not really demand. There's not really like there's a lesser vision demand okay. for the person. So that one is using glass does not really make the person. Uh, inferior okay. is to aid the person to function maximally. All right, we're going to do a very short break now. When we come back, we'll open the lines so that you can call in whatever eye problems you're having, be it itchy, redness of eyes, you name it. You will have to call the doctor so that uh, she will talk to us this afternoon, give you answers to your questions. So we'll open our lines immediately. We'll come back from this break. Stay tuned. Thank you very much for joining us on the program, Healthy Living. What is the kidney? The kidney is an excretory organ in the body, which is for metabolism. Tuberculosis affects many organs in the body, but the common ones it usually affects is the lungs. Epilepsy is a neurological problem. Okay. It is an injury in the brain, which causes someone to begin to convulse, to go into fit. Thank you for staying tuned. The program is Healthy Living, and I'm still talking with Dr. Onyeka Madubata, and we're looking at your eyes. Okay, all right, doctor, before we went on, uh, on a break, we did talk about uh, glasses, and you explained quite extensively the need for us to use glasses. Now, when you go for glasses, I remember vividly when my mother, our blessed memory now, took me for glasses. You know, I was having issues as a child, you go to class, you can't read, you come back, you know, you have teary eyes, red eyes and all of that, then this fantastic headache will come. So the doctor said, okay, well, after the usual examination and all, they said, okay, we'll give you corrective lenses. They, 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 what I had in mind was that maybe after a few months or maybe a year or so, my eyes were back to normal, you know. So please explain that part to us. Well, you say this glasses is corrective lenses, glasses. you know, corrective glasses to correct <laughs> the, the error in the eye for that moment, you know. But you just end up, look at me now, from that time till this moment, I'm still wearing glasses. Okay. Um, when we, are, we say corrective glasses, mm. it means that at that point of wearing that uh, glasses, it's taking care of that defect. Okay. The defect that is causing that, those symptoms. Mm. that the person is uh, um, experiencing. So it's not really, it's not all the cases that correct that, uh, when you hear corrective glasses that you just wear it like for a year, uh, you stopped wearing it just like mm. the, the way you take uh, your prescribed drugs mm -hmm. for maybe, depending on the number of days, you stop. No, in the case of glasses, it's not really that, like that. And it also depends on what is causing it. Because even when we, come to the refractive error that requires the usage of glasses, we have different different categories of a refractive error. Like in the case of short sight, the myopia, the, if anybody should tell you that it's going to correct, <laughs> the child was born with it. Okay. And it's not a cause. It's just like the way the eye developed. 
So wearing the glasses will make the child the light to focus where it's supposed to focus. And whenever you remove the glasses, that focus will no longer be there. Mm -hmm. It will be defocused, and the child will no longer see, or whoever that is involved will no longer see. So um, wearing glasses is not really, it's just only a few cases. And before you see that kind of case, the adult will explain to you. But it's just that most of the time when we hear corrective glasses, we have that notion that, ah, uh, let me go and wear it. After one year, it will correct. So it depends on what is causing um, the symptom and the type of refractive error. Because even there are even some cases that, uh, that may not really require glasses, or the person will wear the glasses. Mm. Uh, after a while, the person will be better. In that case, it may be that the muscles are distressed the muscles of the eye, and that case we see it mostly among the teenagers. The, um, the muscles are very stressed, and we need to relax it. Mm -hmm. But again, we have to look at the visual demand. What is really the child or the person doing? How is the person utilizing the eye? Like somebody that is always on the system, um, somebody that is always reading, we cannot really equate the person to somebody that does not really read, that does not read often. So it depends also on the visual demand. And there are some cases that may just need maybe to train the eye, for the eye to be like, to be um, reacting the way it's supposed to react. Okay. There's something that we call, I don't want to go deep. There's something we call accommodation in facility. If the person is seen, but it's just that the person, in those category of people, you see them complain of headache. Okay. Yes. The child sees very well, but the child comes back from school every day and complaining of headache. There are some cases that they may require glasses, and there are some cases that may, they may undergo what we call visual training. Okay. Just like we have visual physiotherapy, training. we have, yes, really? visual training, yes. We call it a, a, a visual therapy or visual training. Okay. Or in the, uh, is the, the specialty area of what we call autopsies. Okay. That the eye needs to be trained. Yeah. Like you see, for example, the, those people that have like deviated eye, <laughs> the one that our people will call yes, the, 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 the crisscross eye. I was going to go to that. Why Seven thirty. Yes. Or thereabouts. There are many things that can cause it. Okay. One, it can be as a result of the muscle, but whoever the practitioner or the doctor must assess to know what is causing it. There are some cases that will be corrected with surgery, where there are some cases that will be corrected with just main vision training. Okay, for those that it's, have crisscross, yes, how, yes. how, how early can they start? Because there are as some persons as you at 30, it. at 40, you see the eyes crossed. You, no, know, you, won't, you won't know it, if the person is looking at it, you yes. or me. Most of the time, it does not just come at the old age. There are many things also that can cause it. It can mm. be as a result of a maybe a like, like what we have on the, on the screen now. Yes, yes. You see the eye moving in or moving out. Yes, be at uh, one corner like yes, that. Yes, we call it in a, this. We call it um, a strabismus or manifest deviation. The eye has deviated. Okay. So there are many things that can cause it, but the eye needs to be assessed to know the cause one and the appropriate remedy, okay. what should be done to it. All right, 052-290-573 is the number to call. If you have any question for Dr. Oyeka, please do that number because we have but a few minutes. I just want to have to like, explain quite a number of things concerning the eyes so that you and I will know exactly what to do. She has said that the eyes is the window to the soul. You need your eyes to function properly. Now, is there something called inner eyes, particularly for those who are visually impaired? You know, they say, you know, they see with the eyes. inner eyes. Yes. You know, when, that, when, when, at least when they close their eyes, they kind of they still see somehow. I don't okay. know. Can you um, explain that to us a little bit? Looking at, like, even if I should tell you to close your eyes now and get up, mm. because you are already used to this area, okay. you will really know how can I navigate okay. out of this place. Mm. So that is why um, those that have a, a vision 
uh, impairment that is blindness, yes. they will undergo rehabilitation. Okay. So that process of rehabilitating them is to allow them to acquaint themselves so, to uh, uh, many things, activities, the way they can function mm -hmm. with, um, even though they are not seen. Mm -hmm. So uh, when we say inner eye, it just, it's not really, <clears throat> unless if it's now like a, it's a, but naturally, even because you're already used to this environment, and again, by the time you undergo, the person undergo rehabilitation, the person will, be get, uh, will get used to some things, some activities, and his or her environment. Okay, 0522905 is the number to call. Hello, Paula. good afternoon. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Please tell us your name and ask your question. Okay, my name is uh, Dylan Bokiva. Okay, go ahead, Dylan Bokiva. Okay, I'm calling from the Happy to have you on the program. Hello. Hello, I can hear you. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I'd like to first of all acknowledge that uh, the boss of this is professional. Okay. I am giving a next part. Okay, but this is the audio level of your TV set. Uh, uh, I'm in Glaucoma station. Okay, you did the audio level of your television set. Okay. For the past uh, 20 years, I've been managing Glaucoma. Okay. First, for the first four years, I tried to manage it. But the situation or condition gets worse. Thereafter, I went for surgery. For 15 years now running, I've been carrying surgery on the eyes as a result of the glaucoma. My question is, like you said, I've experienced everything she said right there in the studio. When in the 21st century, when are we going to have a cure for glaucoma? That's my question. Thank you, Mr. Ogeva. Dr. Okay. Oyeka, when are we going to have a the cure? cure? It's like, when are we going to have a cure for glaucoma? glaucoma? Okay, as it is as of today, there is no cure for glaucoma. And just... Do you have an idea if I, any I research explain, is ongoing? No, um, because research are always ongoing, every day. But as, I, as it is, and the part of the eye that the glaucoma affects, the way it affects the eye, that is what is making it difficult because it's like it's eating up something. something. It's taking away something. That thing has been taken away. Assuming that it's like in the case of cataract, nothing is taken away. Something has been, a structure in the eye has been affected. We just need to do surgery, remove that part, and uh, replace. But this one, the glaucoma is like eating, it's just it's like good. when uh, you keep a loaf of bread and a rat comes in, dig a hole, taking it away. It's just eating it. At a time, the bread will collapse because it has dug um, a hole. big hole into the bread. So that's how the vision will just collapse. So because the, uh, something has been taken away, so there is no way you can replace it back. That is where the glaucoma does to the eye. That's so why that, no that, that's, that's very sad. All right, 0522905073 is the number. Give us a call. And when you are calling, reduce the audio level on your television set so that um, it does not echo back and then distort us from hearing and uh, listening to you. The number is right there on your screen. I'm particularly worried about this glaucoma thing. More so, no sign, no symptoms. The doctors have described it as a thief of sight. Silent thief of the sight. Silent thief of the sight. It will creep up on you without you knowing. So it's important, particularly those of us that have bad habits towards our health, you should learn to go to the hospital. Do a comprehensive test. Some persons can spend so much on clothes and you name it, but for our health, it's so difficult, okay? We need to find a way of reorientating ourselves so that um, we will do well health-wise. All right, doctor, let's ask this question. Now, what causes teary eyes and, uh, uh, you know, the eyes will continually bring tears? 
We'll just okay. do this in another two minutes and we'll be done. Okay. Mm, there are many things that can cause teary eyes. Yes. It depends on what is causing it. Okay. And first of all, when you notice that your eye is tearing, you should go to a hospital to find out what is causing it. Mm -hmm. Because the when our eye is tearing, what is just happening is that there's something that is triggering the um, the gland that is secreting the tear. The tears. It's not produ It's not being produced more than the way it should be produced. So if there is a corneal ulceration in the eye, like um, this, the part of the, our eye that we see, the one we call the black eye, though it's not really the black, mm. it's very transparent. Okay. If there is ulceration or injury to this eye, it will trigger, it will make the person to start it's tearing. Right. And the most important thing is to go to hospital and find out why, why the person is producing excess tear. Okay. So if one also has a refresh, there are some refractive errors that can also make the person to start tearing. Mm -hmm. Then in a women, there are what well, there's what something that we call it's not even in women, it affects almost everybody, everybody these days. Okay. We call um, um dry eye syndrome. Okay. What is just happening is that the tear is either the quantity is has been compromised or the quality has been compromised. Been compromised. So okay. the major thing is to go to the hospital to find out why is it being produced in excess. So the bottom line of everything we have been talking about today is this. Do your best possible to go to the hospital to check your eyes, okay? If you do that, you'll be a happier person. To so continue with this conversation, you can call us on 080-730-61771. The number again is 080-730-61771. Call this number, ask questions on how to go about your eyes. This is all we're going to do today. Thank you, Dr. Oyeka, for very finding much, time to be on the program. We we'll sure much. do this again pleasure. because the eyes is very important. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.